I'm Philip Byrne from Samsung, and here I have the Galaxy Camera, which combines sort of the best of both worlds of our great Android smartphones as well as our cameras. This is running a full Android operating system. This is Jelly Beans, so it's the newest Android system. And if you're familiar with our Android phones, this is running pretty much the same interface that you'll find on our Galaxy Note 2 or our Galaxy S3, which are both very popular smartphones that we make. And of course, because it's Android, you get to load all of your apps onto it. Any apps you might like, anything you've purchased for your other Android devices. So here I've got a nice selection of third-party camera apps. It'll come with our own Samsung camera in addition to Instagram. But I've also loaded plenty of other popular cameras. I've got my retro camera, my paper camera, some of the Lomo simulator type cameras. In addition, I think this is going to be very popular with the blogging crowd. So I've got some blogging software on here. I've got Tumblr to upload directly to my Tumblr page, uh, Evernote, Food, Google Plus, of course. It'll synchronize photos directly to your AT&T locker, or you could load Dropbox onto this. And of course, when you press the shutter button, you jump right into the camera from whatever you're doing. We have a full point and shoot camera with all the features you'd expect from one of our point and shoots, including our scene modes, which help you take photos of sunset, take photos at night. It's got this cool best faces feature, which takes a small burst of shots, but you pick the best expression from each of your subjects and it stitches them all together. Panorama stitching as well. There's some cool features that let you emulate some of the tricks of the pros. It's got HDR. Waterfall trace takes a nice long exposure shot to give you a, a soft cloud effect on moving water. Light trace for some light painting features. But then if you're a real camera enthusiast, it obviously has some good manual controls. With this cool interface here that lets you adjust shutter speed, ISO sensitivity, aperture, In addition, the camera has these filters built in, so these filters have become real popular with the smartphone crowd. And you can apply the filter directly to your live preview to see what your shots are gonna look like. So it does have touch focus. So you can tap on your subject. So it also has a dedicated button for video recording. You can start recording video at any time. And in video, it records a full 1080p, but you can also do some slow motion, it records 120 frames per second at a slightly reduced resolution there. And it's got some cool sharing features, Wi-Fi Direct for sharing with other Galaxy devices. So you can take photos and they'll be beamed directly to your other Androids as you're shooting. It's got voice activation, so you can say take a picture and the camera will shoot. You can say zoom in, zoom out, set a timer, but you can shoot remotely just by yelling at the camera, which is kind of cool. So we have a really nice gallery that makes it easy to organize your photos. It's a lot more like a desktop-like experience, so I pick the photos I want to organize. Some cool visual effects as I drag them into the folder I want. Much better than you'll find on most point-and-shoot cameras and even most Android devices. And in addition, when it comes time to show off your photos, we've got some nice eye candy built into the gallery as well. Here's our timeline view. Here's our spiral view for photos as well. And that is the Galaxy Camera.